turns out truckers in California don't like a new law effectively forcing them into a union. They are now blocking the port of Oakland in protest and once again, well, turning the supply chain into a mess. Get ready for this Christmas to be worse than last. The ongoing blockade is increasing cargo wait times by 16 days. That means the trucks carrying your goods are two weeks behind schedule and it's going to get worse. The lack of supplies is creating price increases expected to lead to product shortages like we saw last year. Cargo executives already think shipping delays from last year will run into next year. So this new standoff is important. It's going to make the problem a lot worse. California Governor Gavin Newsom doesn't care. He came up with the law that is being protested. It's a new state law that makes it harder for trucking companies to classify the drivers as independent contractors. It's also works for gig economy workers. Think DoorDash, Lyft, Uber, anybody who's an independent contractor. The law wants them to be employees. The drivers that work regularly for them, for these companies, well, it pushes the companies to treat the drivers like employees with the benefits that come with full-time work. Sounds great, right? Well, truckers aren't happy about it, hence the protests. It's make you more responsible for everything that's going on with your truck uh, and the cargo you're hauling. That will increase our costs and, um, you know, not, not, not just costs and it, 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 it takes a lot of hassle. We of course, it's not just hassle, it's expense for the truckers, their owner operators. If they become employees, well, the catch is they have to join unions, unions that overwhelmingly support Gavin Newsom. California State Assembly man Kevin Kiley joins us now. Uh, all right, is, is there any other reason for this law, if we give Gavin Newsom the benefit of the doubt, other than uh, as a, a way to force folks into unions? Uh, no, there's no other explanation for it. The entire point of it was it was a huge payday for unions, which happened to be the biggest campaign contributors in California to Gavin Newsom and members of our super majority. And from the moment this law took effect in 2020, it has put countless Californians out of work in a just bewildering array of professions, you know, from uh, tutors to, uh, you know, uh, to truckers, as we're seeing, uh, to artists, to journalists, uh, to interpreters. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of professions uh, and uh, has made, you know, the uh, economy in California that much worse. Now, truckers had been in kind of a state of limbo for some time because of various court challenges. Uh, but you just recently had a court say, no, this law, as written, is designed to take away the livelihoods of these truckers to make it so they cannot operate as independent owner operators, which is what they've built their whole business model uh, in reliance on that uh, old legal standard. And so that's what we have here now is as a direct result of this current corrupt law, one of the most corrupt laws ever passed in U.S. history, you have potentially 70,000 truckers who are going to be out of the workforce. And as you said, that is going to make the problem of the supply chain and inflation that much worse in right. California and throughout the country. Well, and what's interesting about it is, is that it is a law in California that affects all of us. We put up uh, the marine traffic. 40% uh, of containerized imports to the United States enter through a California port. Uh, all of those green dots you see are ships waiting to be unloaded at the port of Oakland, which can't be unloaded because of this protest. Uh, our viewers will remember back uh, Long Beach and some of the other ports uh, that also had uh, big supply chain issues uh, last year. Is these protests going to spread down there with those 70,000 truckers? I think they very well could, and it's a very clear illustration of uh, something that I've been talking about for some time, that California's problems are becoming America's problems. I mean, our current vice president is sort of the personification of that, and perhaps Gavin Newsom himself, as he starts, uh, you know, making more clearer steps towards running for president uh, in 2024. Uh, but this is a very clear example of that. The policy hmm. failures that are causing California's decline are now imperiling the rest of the country. I'm a state assembly member. That's why I'm running for Congress this year is to say that we cannot let this happen. Well, it, it is, it's, a war, it's a warning for sure. Uh, whether or not people view it as a warning or a promise, uh, the polls tell us this. Uh, President Biden does win head-to-head -head in a matchup in terms of whether uh, Newsom takes him on as a primary, but Newsom actually uh, beats both Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump in a head-to-head. -head. Uh, I, I guess the argument would be if you, if you tell America, do you want California or Florida, right now they're picking California, you paint a much bleaker picture, though. 
Yeah, I don't think that's the case. If you just look at the people who are moving from California to Florida, uh, there aren't a whole lot of people moving from Florida uh, to California. And I think that when people are presented with that choice or that contrast, you have California that is the highest poverty rate in the entire country, uh, that is some of the worst infrastructure in the country, uh, that's had the highest unemployment rate uh, for the last couple of years, that has among the worst public schools, uh, biggest achievement gaps, the worst homelessness by far in the country. And you ask people, is this what you want in your state? I mean, California has reached this breaking point in the mm -hmm. last two years. We used to be the state where everyone wanted to move to. The last two years, for the first time in our history, you have more people who are leaving than who are coming. Mm -hmm. And if the same failed policies spread to the rest of the country, then the question becomes, where are people going to go? Well, it's, a, it's an interesting point and one that at least the rest of the country, by polling, hasn't quite uh, yet caught up with. It seems, you know, as Gavin Newsom's image grows and his national profile grows, we'll see if that uh, what you're saying resonates. Uh, hey, Kevin, we appreciate the time. Thank you. Anytime. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.